Hello, my name is Melvin Ian Bilton and today I'm going to talk about how to identify the dominant seven chord. Firstly, we need to know about what is dominant seven chord. Okay, dominant seven chord is a combination of major triad and minor seven interval. Secondly, what does dominant seven chord sound like? So, uh, we take an example from the song Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton. Okay, so now we have new what is dominant seven chord and also what it sound look like okay so now we are going to do the C dominant seven chord so as an example in the key of C major scale we have C D E F G A B C so using the C major scale, we will first do the C major triad, which is one, three, and the fifth note. So that means the C major triad is C, E, and G. Okay. So after we got the C major triad, now we need to find the minus seven interval of C major scale okay so the easiest way to make the minor seven interval is flatten the seven note on the scale C major so the seven note for C major scale is B so if we flatten it it will be the B flat note so if we combine the C major triad and the minor 7 interval for C major, it will be C dominant 7. So, the note is C, E, G, and B flat. Okay, so now we are going to do the other example of dominant 7 chord. So, we are going to do the a dominant 7 so firstly we need to know what is the scale so a major scale is a b c sharp d e f sharp g sharp a so the major triad of a major is 1 3 and 5 so the first note is a the third note is C sharp and the fifth note is E. So the major triad of A major is A C E. Okay, so now we need to find the minus seven interval of A major scale. So the seventh note is G sharp and now we flatten it to make it uh, the minus 7 interval so it will become G natural so if we combine the A major triad and the minus 7 interval of A major scale so it will become A dominant 7 which is the note is A C sharp E G Okay, so there you have it. That's the dominant seven chord. Okay, so that's all from me. Thank you.